My name is Mike Pedigo, and we are going to briefly go through some of the most common questions that us foilers get asked on the beach. This is a hydrofoil setup. Here is the hydrofoil. Specifically, this is a hydrofoil. This is basically an airplane wing that goes underwater. Once the water moves over this surface, it creates lift, which then allows the rider to stand on top of the board and control the foil. No, as you can see, there are no motors on this foil setup. They do make hydrofoils that have motors, they call them E-foils. Those typically have a controller and they're much larger boards because they have a big battery compartment and a motor inside with a prop that goes about right here. A lot of people are curious about the jumping action that they see when foilers are riding in waves. What that is, we call it pumping. And basically it's an up and down motion similar to a dolphin kicking its tail that creates momentum moving forward and allows us to stay on foil and connect multiple waves and go basically wherever we want. Yes, hydrofoils are expensive. The higher end ones are made entirely of carbon fiber. All of this you see here is carbon fiber. It's very light, very stiff. Yes, they are sharp and they can range anywhere from $700 to $3,000 for just the foil system alone. The boards come in a variety of sizes from three and a half feet to over eight feet and those can also be $700 to about $3,000. There's lots of different activities that you can do with the hydrofoil setup. Here I have a prone surfing foil setup where I can paddle out into the waves just like a normal surfboard would, paddle in and catch a wave, and then rise up to fly the, the hydrofoil and continue riding the wave and pumping around. There's also wing foiling, which involves holding a wing that sort of looks like a kite in your hands, which will pull you up onto the foil, and then you can basically sail around using the wing for your power and the foil for its efficiency and glide through the water. There's also stand-up paddleboard foiling, where we take a foil setup and we put it on a stand-up paddleboard and use a paddle just like traditional stand-up paddling would. With those, the power of the paddle, if the rider is strong enough, is actually enough to rise up on foil just in flat water alone, really opening up the possibilities of what you can do with your foil setup. Another discipline is wake foiling, which has become very common among on lakes and uh, rivers and places that don't have open ocean access. Um, that just involves getting behind a boat, you get pulled up on the rope, and you can ride the wake without using the rope at all, kind of like wake surfing, but you're just doing it with the hydrofoil. On lakes, there's even people doing uh, dock starts where they just basically throw the foil board into the water, jump on the foil, and they can pump around and move from point A to point B just with the power of their own legs. Chances are, if you live anywhere near a body of water, you're gonna see more hydrofoils. This sport's rapidly growing, and lots of people are coming into this sport with the multiple disciplines it has to offer. Thank you for your interest in hydrofoiling. Cheers.